Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So there are a lot of certifications in the field of DevOps. Just like how there are a lot of tools in the field of DevOps. So often freshers who plan to get into DevOps or professionals planning to switch into DevOps from other streams get confused which certifications should they opt for. In this video, I will make things clear because I am going to talk about top five DevOps certifications in 2025. To make this video, I have gone through syllabus of various certifications and I have looked at a lot of job descriptions just to make sure which certifications are relevant in 2025. Let's get started. So the first one that I have on my list today is CKA, Certified Kubernetes Administrator. There are a few reasons. One, it's a highly rated DevOps certificate. When you go through DevOps job descriptions, you will find in a lot of job descriptions today, CKA is mentioned as preferred skill and in some of the job descriptions, although the number is not huge. In some, you will also find it as required skill. Second reason, Kubernetes certifications are very practical and CKA syllabus is very long. So you need to learn a lot of Kubernetes concepts and you also need to practice them. Overall, this certification is a testament that you have good Kubernetes knowledge. Second certification on the list today is any cloud fundamental certification. A lot of people jump into advanced cloud certifications like AWS Solutions Architect Associate. But what I would recommend is always start with fundamental cloud certification. Having one year of experience and doing Solutions Architect Associate without not even trying cloud practitioner is not a good practice. So when it comes to AWS, go for cloud practitioner. When it comes to Azure, go for AZ900, that is Azure Fundamentals. And when it comes to Google Cloud Platform, go for Associate Cloud Engineer. These are the certifications that I would recommend after CKA. The third one that I have on my list today is CKAD, Certified Kubernetes Application Developer. Although the name says Application Developer, the concepts that are covered as part of this certification are pretty much DevOps oriented. And if you complete CKA, you almost cover 60% of CKAD syllabus. The recent CKA syllabus has changed. So you might consider 5 to 10% buffer. I'll do a different video on the CKA updated syllabus and why they have changed the syllabus as well. But for now, the third certification that I have on my list today is CKAD. Just like CKA, the syllabus of CKAD is also not small and CKAD certification is also very practical. So make sure before you attempt this certification, you practice the concepts well and the certification is also time bound. So you can only answer them if you have a thorough practice. Number four that I have on my list today is advanced cloud certifications. So after you complete basic cloud certification, as I mentioned, go for advanced. And when I talk advanced, what are there? When it comes to AWS, yes, you can go for AWS Solution Architect Associate. When it comes to Azure, I would recommend Professional DevOps Engineer Certification. That is Azure DevOps Engineer Expert. And when it comes to Google Cloud Platform, I would recommend Professional Cloud DevOps Engineer Certification. Of course, in Azure, you also have 
AZ104, which is also important. But I would recommend you to focus more on DevOps related certifications as you are aiming for that job. So these are three certifications that are in fourth position in today's video. Finally, the fifth one that I would recommend is CKS, Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. Now CKS is a pretty tough certification, but looking at how important security is, CKS certification is gaining a lot of significance. And again, I'm just repeating it. When it comes to Kubernetes certifications, they are very practical. So unlike the cloud certifications, you need very practical knowledge. You might ask Abhishek out of five certifications, you have three of them, which are Kubernetes related. Yes, I referred other certifications as well. But when I looked at JD, Kubernetes certifications are the popular choice. That's why I have three certifications out of five, which are Kubernetes. Now you might ask Abhishek, what about Terraform? What about Ansible? What about Istio, Argo CD? There are a lot of certifications in the CNCF landscape. I would say there is no point running behind the certifications or there is no point having a lot of certifications as a badge on your resume. Although I mentioned five certifications in this video, I'm not recommending you to complete all the five certifications. Even today, they are all preferred skills on the DevOps job description. So the order of certifications is only provided to you so that you can decide if you want to go for certifications, which one you can pick. So doesn't matter if CNCF has a lot of certifications like Istio, Argo CD, don't run behind them. Just learn those concepts practically, do some projects, add those projects to your GitHub profile and just tag your GitHub profile on the resume. It is weighted more than those CNCF multiple certifications. And if you have any questions related to certifications, I am very interested in answering them. So make sure you put your comment. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll also put all the certifications that I talked about, three Kubernetes certifications and two cloud related certifications in the description. See you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.